Hey everybody, today we are going to be doing a solubility demonstration and you are going to have some questions embedded in this video. So make sure you pay attention and think about what we learned about solubility. So we have three different liquids that we're going to be using today. We have rubbing alcohol, vegetable oil, and plain water. Now you'll notice here in these beakers, they each have 60 milliliters of liquid. So the amount of liquid is the same for each. We are going to be adding colored sugar. So all this is is plain sugar with some food coloring mixed in. We are going to add in each one of our liquids one teaspoon of the sugar and then we'll mix those to see if the sugar is going to dissolve in each one. So what I want you to do first is you are going to make your prediction on what you think is going to happen. Do you think that the sugar is going to mix in all of these? Will it mix the same? Will it mix in some and not the others? So at this time you're going to make your prediction on what you think is going to happen. Now we're going to add one tablespoon, level tablespoon, of the colored sugar to each of your liquids, being careful to try to add the same amount to each of the liquids. Okay, now we're just going to use a plastic spoon and I'm going to stir these up. Actually, I don't have a spoon, I have a knife. We're going to use a plastic knife and we're going to stir these just for about 10 to 15 seconds. Just want to stir it up really good so we get a good mixture. And remember, when you're looking to test solubility, we are looking to see if the substance is going to dissolve. So there's your rubbing alcohol. So keep an eye on that one for a minute while I mix the vegetable oil. I want to wipe that oil off before I put it before I put it in the water. I don't want to get the oil into the water. So we're going to mix the water and sugar. Now one thing that is very important when you all are doing a lab, a science lab, is that you make good observations and that you write good descriptions of your observations. So when you write observations of something like this, you want to be sure that you are describing what happened with the sugar, what happened with the liquid, and what happened with the color. So the next thing you all are going to do is you are going to write a description for what happened to the rubbing alcohol, put this up close so you can see. So you can see here, if you see the bottom, so you've got your sugar on the bottom, the alcohol is blue. Okay. Now with your vegetable oil, your vegetable oil was already a little bit of a yellowish color, so the color really still looks pretty consistent to what it was before. And you can see your colored sugar pretty distinctly on the bottom. And then in your water, 
There's really no sugar crystals at the bottom. And the water all looks blue. And that is what you have. Now, you are going to use this information to answer the following questions.